Whether you're a guy in a cape. Or a rogue who's sneaky. Join me and Roger as we... Entertain the geeky. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Got any of them french fried taters in there? God, that was a good movie. Biscuits and mustard. <laughs> he did love his biscuits and mustard. Like, oh, the best part of that movie, we, he walks in with that with, with, with the fucking lawnmower blade, and he's like, I aim to kill you with it. Like that, just just like that. That, that yeah, yeah, love that, love that movie. I don't even have anything to say about that movie. It's a good movie. Not see, it was movie. a good movie, but he's like, I don't want to kill no one. But he ends up killing Dwight Yoakam. Dwight Yoakam had it coming. Well, I'm not saying he didn't. He definitely did. You know the funny thing about that movie was it started as a short uh, called "Some People Call It a Sling Blade." Really? Yeah, it was like it was that you know that opening monologue of uh, of him in the in the mental institution. Yeah, that was the movie. That was like the short, and it was him being interviewed. And he's he just tells the story, and that was it. And they saw that and decided to make a fucking movie out of it, and it was really good. I mean, for those of you who don't know, we're talking about Sling Blade, which is a good fucking fucking thing. good. Oh God, so good from the mid nineties. Yeah, mid nineties. Like it came out, and then have you ever seen a, a movie <laughs> called Mean Creek? No. I know you're a fan of the independent film. <laughs> <laughs> this is up there. Like, this is really good, too. I'm a fan of good independent movies. This is good. Like, it's about these kids that decide that they're going to take they're gonna take care of a bully. So, that like, this, this guy's picking on them. So, they say, well, we'll take him out. We'll take him to the, the creek, and we'll go on, like, a canoeing trip, and we'll just scare him. Well, well they on, end up killing him. Well, on the canoe trip, they find out that this guy's actually just, he's a nice guy. He's just got a fucked up home life, and they start feeling sorry for him. And he, they accidentally, yeah, he accidentally dies. Uh, phenomenal movie. Mean Creek was really good. I recommend it highly. That sounds familiar. I may have seen that at yeah, some it's point. Really or good. It's really good. It's better than rubber. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So it's late. It's late. We're fucking five episodes in now. Uh, we 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 really shouldn't tell them that we're recording these all in one night. We're recording this new for you today, <laughs> right? Um, on Wednesday. Whenever this drops, we are fresh. This is the day we're recording it. We are not fucking twelve beers in at this point. Are we shit? Uh, yeah, we close are. To it, we're getting close. I'm glad I bought that eighteen pack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> glad we had that six pack before the eighteen pack. So it's Halloween time, which has been our theme for this tonight. Like, fuck it, Halloween time. I want to fucking get into some scary ass video games. Yeah. Um. Let's, let's, for you, what was your favorite scary video game? <laughs> so, so Tara just opened the door because she left some, she left some stuff in there. Without even looking, she's just grabbing what we hand her. It was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Tara, come in here. Come here. So Tara is the love of my life, and she is my sweetheart. This week. Always and forever for the last five years. Um, what is your all-time favorite scary movie? Mars Attacks. <laughs> you know, hold on. Because I, I, I saw you watching that like like last week when come, we were so over So come here. over here. Come sit with me. Mars Attacks was the very first movie that ever scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And it's given me this irrational fear of aliens. And I was so proud to re-watch that movie for the first time in... 20 years, and I watched it with my kids, and they fucking laughed their asses off. And I still look at those aliens, and I'm terrified. But say, were you scared? Uh, oh, yeah. I, they still creep the shit out of me. I hate them. Well, I, 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 that's what I look like in the morning. I fucking put my hair up and fucking swirls so it looks like there's a brain sticking out of the top of my head. I thought you were going to say that was your own face. Was <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I also, I mean, like... <laughs> Those anything... are my vinegar strokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of the uh, Saw movies are pretty gruesome. I can handle horror a lot better than I can handle aliens. And, um... The, one of the, like, the scariest, most traumatic times was my, the first time I was watching one of the Saw movies, and this girl had these hooks inside of her ribs. I had no idea what Saw it was, so Saw commenters out three. there, 
Yeah, let, let the commenters go ahead and correct you on that I, one. No, Roger. it's all three. <laughs> it's all three because it was the detective, and she had to put her hand in the acid to get the key out, and she did it, but she couldn't get the lock out, and it, and it worked. Yeah, so as she was being ripped apart, my DVD player started skipping, and this is happening in slow motion to her. Oh, that's and awesome. And so that was like a reoccurring dream, but... I handle gore and scary things pretty well, so it's really just the aliens that freak me the fuck out. Well, okay, so, hold on, so, we know Mars Attacks freak you the fuck out. What about the actual, legit, alien horror movie, uh, Alien, where, where they're in the space station, and oh, the yeah. chest, bleh. Hell yeah, that's, that, oh my god. The little mouth coming out of the mouth. Oh my god, yeah, traumatizing. Um, Even Men in Black, I mean, all <laughs> <laughs> I swear, all the, the things that are supposed to be... The idea of extraterrestrials yes. is absolutely horrific for this girl. So okay, <laughs> so try, trying to go into uh, season two of American Horror Story, I yeah, couldn't even yeah. walk out my front door or go to the bathroom no, without feeling not. like I was going to piss myself in terror. <laughs> so we're watching, just... that. we're watching this together, and she's like, she's like, Chris, <laughs> I need you to walk me to the bathroom. I'm like, it's four steps away. She's like, I need you to take me there now. I couldn't do it. We don't have curtains on our kitchen window. And it was horrifying. I just picture her seeing a pug, like, out in the street, just walk, like walking across the street to get away from it Because <laughs> it might start talking to her. No, like, if, if she sees even, like... <laughs> no, just imagine the tinfoil uh, Hershey's kiss hat in signs. Like, that's my life. <laughs> no, like, she's afraid of the little green man with the big buggy eyes. I get that. I'm, anal probing is not for me. I understand how this works. <laughs> just, Men in Black, though, that's a cute movie, you know? It is. It's got Will Smith. He does the dance. Mm, mm, mm. I love that Here you acknowledge it as in Men in Black. That's a cute movie. As, as if there aren't two others. <laughs> <laughs> there because, are? No, exactly. That's how I feel, too. I'm like, wow, that first one was really good. And they're like, what do you think of the second and third one? I'm like, I put those out of my mind. You know, so Josh the first Brolin one was really wasn't good. that bad. I, Josh Brolin did a good job as, as, as Tommy Lee Jones. You know who did a better job as Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee Jones? Jones? <laughs> Catherine Jada Jones, because I just found out they were married. Oh, she did a good job on him. Yeah, she did. Actually, he did no. a good job on her. Real quickly. Like, <laughs> fuck it, because do you know who was the worst Hollywood couple ever? Which one? Harrison Ford and that bitch from uh, Ally McBeal. Okay. Because, remember Harrison Ford was the epitome of macho manliness? Yeah. Like, he was like, I'm a fucking man. I stapled the Indiana Jones hat to my head. So it wouldn't fly off. Like, that was the man. And now he starts dating her, and he's a vegan. He pierces his ear. He starts talking about the environment and shit. Ugh. You let us down, Harrison. You let us down. You fucking got killed in episode seven in a pussy way. All right, I'm done. I disagree. That was the only good part about that movie. No. And if he turned it on himself. Yeah, well, we won't know until episode nine. We're probably never going to know because they're never going to let that shit see the light of day. George Lucas might. George Lucas is dead as far as fucking Star Wars is concerned. Mickey Mouse has that shit locked down so tight. They're like, Lucas, thanks for your character rights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. So, All right, thanks for the character rights. Huh? We, we know what Tara's favorite scary, favorite scary movie is. <laughs> That's the way to put it. Favorite scary movie. Chris? I fucking love the Freddy Krueger movies. Even the remake? No, that's not a Freddy Krueger movie. <laughs> okay, okay. That was Rorschach right, with well, the wrong mask on. What movie scares you? Like now, not not when you were a kid, but like what movie do you watch now that kind of gets you that that little... Meh. Um. So generally, a movie doesn't do it. Most of the new scary movies are just jump scares, and I get bored with them. Uh, so what creeped me out the most recently in the past couple of years was actually season one of american horror story why the fucking thing that lives in the basement in season one did we ever get an answer on what the fuck that thing was i don't the remember devil. it was her sweet little baby it was her sweet little baby that he turned into a monstrosity with okay. his experiments okay and it fucking apparently it grew up and turned into this bloodthirsty fuck that liked to rip motherfuckers apart so that scares you going in your basement and getting ripped apart actually it bothered me going in my basement as I was watching that. Like, I'd go in my basement and I'd be like, if that fucker pops out, I'm gonna fu I'm fucking fighting it. I'm gonna fucking... You know, 
I'm going to fight it. You know, you and I have had a lot of talks about what you would do in scary situations, and running away never comes out of your mouth. It's always like, now nah, fuck it, we're going out together. Yeah. That's why aliens scare the shit out That's of me. That's how I live my life. I'm a total problem solver, so most things I feel like I could get through, but a fucking extra- extraterrestrial that got here... There's no way I could take that fucker out. Sorry. I would die like a I'd scared be rabbit. I'd that like, cocksucker's eyeballs out. Falling hey, over. I'd be like, give me that ear hole. <laughs> you motherfucker. Get out of my ass. I'm going to probe you. Bend over. What if they don't have buttholes? I don't care, dude. I'll fucking make a hole. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, no, Roger. like, in these, in these fucking scenarios where I'm faced with uh, my fight or flight response... Is it's changed drastically since I've become a parent. Like I've I've never really been a flighty kind of guy, but since I've been a parent, it's become even more so to this extreme of kill things. I get that, but but wouldn't it be simpler if you go down to the basement and the fucking hunchback of Notre Dame's down there to rip your dick off, to run upstairs, grab the think, kids, and get the fuck I'm out of the house? Fucking run and let the thing chase after me? Fuck that, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna kill that. It never went up the stairs on, on the show. I don't know that. Okay, fair enough. Like, I know what I saw on the show. If something's in my basement, I don't understand what it's capable of. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill it. I would have been great in the military. They'd have been like, Chris, what do you want to do? I want to kill shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get bitches and kill shit. No, I'm kidding. I love you. Military, thank you for your service. Yeah, moment of silence was, 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 man, we should not do this while drinking beer. We should always <laughs> do this while we're drinking beer. All right, so here's what we've learned. Tara's terrified of extraterrestrial movies. Chris apparently thinks he's the manliest man when it comes to shit. Until it's possession, and then you freak out oh, like, When it's possession? Bit. No, man, I'm so out of control with that. So, hold on, time out, time out. So, <coughs> I, I, you're scared of you being possessed. What about other people you know? Other people being possessed. So here's the issue with that. <laughs> that fucking entity that is being contained within this other person's body, within this other vessel, could try to jump to me. <laughs> like a symbiote? <laughs> I cannot control this thing. Like, that's what I'm afraid of, not being in control of myself. So you're okay. If, so so for you, it's not that, that Tara gets possessed. If Tara it, gets possessed, I'm going to freak my shit out. It's, it's that that thing inside of her can jump to you. It's not even about it jumping to me at that point. It's like, oh my god, fuck, there's no hope. I need to pray. <laughs> Get a priest. I'm not Catholic. <laughs> shit. I need to call a pastor. <laughs> like, it, it's just, a, it's fucking full on panic at that point. Fair enough. But with you... With you, Roger. I ain't scared of shit. You actually have an issue. I have a justifiable issue with these fucking with snakes. With the afterlife. I don't have an issue with the afterlife. I'm we were talking the... earlier. Don't, I'm you good even, with the don't you even try to play this now. I because... can tell you what movies scare me. Oh, this isn't about movies anymore. No, I want to hear it. This is legitimate. Do you want to know? All right, first off. Because you're like, I'm not even going to talk about this on the show. First off, nothing about the afterlife scares me. Ghost, okay, we're, we're going to use quotations. Ghost, demons, all, nope, we're good. Why are you sending her away? She's grabbing soup real fast. You need soup. It's on the burner. Um, it's on her stove. She wants, son needs soup. She wants to know what scares me. She's going to have to listen to the episode to find out now. So, like, recent horror movies that, 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 that like, paranormal activity. I don't want to know what's scared. No, what makes you tick for realsies? Because, like, we were having a conversation The snakes! Earlier. No, no, snakes no. Snakes and spiders. You're, you're pretending now. No, I'm not, like, like legit. My fear is snakes and spiders. That's And not maybe it. drowning or being set on fire. Because I, yeah, yeah. No, the, like, like, legit, legit, legit. That shit doesn't scare me. It doesn't. There is no fear in my eyes when it comes to that. Look at me. Look at my eyes. I'm not dead, so I can't see any fear there. <laughs> this is not afterlife. Wait, what? Um, but, like, for real, as far as the movies go, Paranormal Activity and anything that deals with children creep me the fuck out. Like, Paranormal Activity 1, like, got to me because it did so well, but once that baby got involved, I was like, nope. All right, I'll finish this beer. You start talking. 
So Paranormal Activity 1 scared the shit out of Roger. Because. It didn't scare me. Um, it was, I, I thought it was very well done. Um, but when, they, when that scene where they drag her down the hallway, and the, the nuances of that movie, like when she's possessed, and you, the first time you realize she's possessed is when she says, everything will be okay, we're okay now. They actually layer voices on top of that. Yeah. Oh, it took me two or three times to, to get that. And every time I watch that movie, there's new things like her hair. There's a scene in the movie where she's just standing there and her hair just blows very little. And then she freaks out. Oh, such a good movie. And it was well done for being a cheap little movie. And now they have 17 of them. Yeah, we don't. And it's unbearable. We don't talk about the fucking sequels, okay? That's the problem with Hollywood. They get an idea and they run with it till it's dead. No, like, don't do that anymore. Uh, the actresses scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And it wasn't the her spinning her head or fucking masturbating with a crucifix. It was the scene where she says where, where she's down where they're downstairs and she starts screaming, "Mom, help me!" Uh, and Chris McNeil you know, runs in and opens the door and she is flopping on the bed, like just flopping. I actually got up and turned the movie off and refused to watch it until it was ready to go back. The actress just fucked with me when I was a kid. I again, I have an issue with possession. So why don't you watch The Exorcist? It ends on a happy note. I've, I've seen The Exorcist. The priests die. I know. But the girl was saved. Yeah. No? The priest managed to, All right. to summon some control in that and jump out a window. He did. I he know. Did. He did. He gave up. Spoiler alert. He gave up. The show is fantastic. The new show, The Exorcist, we're two episodes in now. Is it good? Fucking fantastic. It's and an amazing show. Terrence back. All right. All time scariest movie that you will that you will never watch again. Tara? She's thinking. Oh. That you will never that, that that like no matter what, you will not bring yourself to watch it. I don't know. It's probably going to be something with aliens. Most other things I just kind of chuckle at. Um, I I laugh at, at how bad special effects are. And even if it's a bad alien, that still scares me. You know? Um, but shit. I repeatedly go back to the movie Signs. I love that one. I've watched Men in Black multiple times. Um... So, really, I don't know. Uh, I've never really been been a big horror, scary movie kind of person. So, I, I don't think that there's really one I could say. Chris? I don't like horror movies. Okay. Nightmare on Elm Street's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, not your favorite. Which one you would never watch again? Like, oh. one that actually scared you that you're like, I, I just can't watch it again. We'll never watch again? Yeah. The fourth kind. <laughs> it was about what I did to myself during that movie psychologically but I was like I'll never fucking watch that bullshit again what'd you do to yourself so I was convinced that these aliens were fucking demonic possessions again it's this possession concept that I cling on to because of my Baptist upbringing um, you know I don't remember demonic possession being a big deal in my time out you don't upbringing. remember legion we are many I get that you don't but... remember Jesus going to visit this motherfucker yeah, I get that, that was tearing chains and stuff uh huh I do that's yeah. what I was afraid but of but I don't remember my church fixating on it I my church we... didn't even fixate on it <laughs> it happened one time and I was like this is so bad <laughs> see cause in my head every time you talk about your church I'm like my Baptist upbringing it's all they did was sit there and talk about no, possession no. of your church Jesus himself like <laughs> I, I'm like, shit, I would need Jesus himself to show up to this event. And he's probably not going to do that this time. Like, <laughs> so, so for you, for you, it's the fourth kind. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah because again, it th- that, w- that movie was not about aliens for me. <laughs> I had turned it into demonic possession in my mind. Yeah? Um, if you haven't See, seen that's that- weird. Hold on. That's weird that... That I could put that movie in and scare the shit out of both of you for two totally different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But God, I, I love, love Halloween. I just love being scared, though. Like, that's the best feeling. I love being oh, yeah. on edge. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chris, it's... you're going to be an alien for the Halloween, aren't you? <laughs> no, I mean, the boys. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even do that. 
You can't even touch her right now. <laughs> I touched her face, like, right by the corner. Like body. an alien would. <laughs> like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. See? See, but there's that little chuckle after. It's okay. <laughs> you know you should take her? Silo X. That's what you should take her. I, Yeah. So now Chris is just trying to scare his woman. Oh, uh, Roger, I don't have a woman. I can't own her. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're never airing this one. Yeah, it's going up in a couple hours. <laughs> uh, so, so, so. Jack o' lantern carving contest. We're having one. Yeah, we are. I'm submitting a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we never bonus submit. points. I mean, <laughs> fucking bonus points. She's smarter than everybody else if she's the only one that sends a watermelon. I'll be like, you remember that chick that sent a watermelon? <laughs> and we all know it's Tara. Let's send her a t-shirt. <laughs> like Courtney, <laughs> Courtney wanted to do the Predator as, as the jack o' lantern this year. Oh my god, Courtney, how good are you? Um, yeah, really good. I mean in pumpkin carving. I, I don't want to be dirty on our show. Oh, as if you haven't already. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris Pine. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris Pine. So, Roger's ultimate fantasy is actually to have Chris oh. Pine on the other end of his wife. No. Tina Fey on the other end of my wife. Anna Kendrick's on the other end of my wife. Julian Anderson on the other end. I, the list Chris goes Pine on. on the other end of my wife. No, I just want fuck Chris, you, Chris Pine. I just want, I want Chris to fuck Pine. Chris Pine. I just want Chris Pine in the corner crying like a little bitch. You want him to record it? Yeah. <laughs> don't you wish you could fuck like this, Chris Pine? Why don't you make smart sci-fi out of this? <laughs> you jackass. Ah, uh, it's Halloween. Chris Pine, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not. I'm sorry that you fucking will never hear this. No, I, I guarantee you he's one of the California <laughs> listeners. And I guarantee you he listens and he goes, I'm going to fuck him up when I see him in real life. And then, and I, then, and then now he's going to listen to this episode. He's like, I don't know if I should ever go around them. <laughs> they might make me film weird sex acts. We will. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh. Just trying to think of a conversation that we could have on this podcast. Actually, I've got the perfect conversation to have right now. Guys, it is that time. Already? Already. But I don't wanna. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, follow us on Twitter at Entertain Geeky. Like us on Facebook at Entertainment Geeky. Find us on the YouTube, Entertain the Geeky. We are Entertain the Geeky. We're on fucking Instagram. Come on, man. Did you mention Twitter? Yes, I did. I kind of black out when you do this. There was nice. no Twitter mention. Follow us on Twitter at Entertain Geeky. Don't I be angry. That. Um, Don't be angry. But guys, get on here. Give us some love. We're going to give you some love. And uh, thank you. What, Roger? What do you have to say? I'm a happily married man. I only have love to give to one. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's all you peoples out there. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> so, as always, guys, thank you, and stay geeky. Bye!